America needs to get behind Israel. Israel is going to take the Muslim ISIS out, give them, give them support, whatever it is they do, what they, whatever it is that they have to do, let them do it without the fear of Israel being insulted, put down, without the insults, without the, uh, without um, um, hostile language. That you're seeing on the channel on your local TV networks. I'm sick of the hostile language that we're seeing here. I'm sick of the political correctness. This is why this broadcast network has AT&T, and AT&T needs a buck up, man up, woman up, and to pay us for this for for for, for this little sitcom we're doing right now, under the law of FCC, by the way. This is brought to you by by a this message is brought to you by AT and T. That's what we use on the phone here. They gotta pay us under the law. Is that correct, Michelle? You are my you are my business advisor. Go ahead, Michelle. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, you are my business advisor now because you also send invoice to these companies too, uh, didn't you, Trish? Is that right? Go ahead, Trish. Yes, absolutely right. It, it's just like anything else. Uh, you buy something. If you don't pay for it, then you it either goes on your credit report or you're taken to small claims court. Yep. It's that simple. So these companies need to start paying up. They, you know, you were gracious enough to to um, use their name at their request on your on your program. So it's it's you know they have to. It, it's it's law. It, it, it is absolutely law that they have to pay. Yeah, they have to pay for for services. That, that, you know, they're provided to you, mm -hmm. and it's just if they don't want to pay, well, then you know they'll be taking the small claims court. They'll pay the the court fees, the the prosecutor fees, and and anything else. It's um, tacked on. Yeah. Oh yeah. We'll do. We'll put we'll put some interest on there. You know, each each company figured out. You know, they say. We send out thirty-five thousand dollars for invoices. Okay, thirty-five thousand dollars in seven of them. Okay, seven companies. All right, these companies right. we sent we sent our invoices out to. By the way, each of them is is uh, um well total grand total of five thousand dollars uh, five thousand dollars. Okay, each one. Okay, five thousand dollars each one or seven of them. Okay, thirty-five thousand dollars. Okay, thirty-five thousand dollars. Seven times five is thirty-five. Right. Yes. Okay. Thirty-five thousand dollars. If these companies don't pay, I found I found out with my time, with the court's time, legal fees, a hundred thousand dollars to these companies. Is it worth it for these companies to pay a hundred thousand dollars versus five thousand dollars? No, it isn't. But but you know, like most liberals, uh, they don't see the reasoning behind that. They think they they're they're like. Like Billery, uh, they think they're above the law. They don't have to do what others have to do. No, I... Well, you know, they need to get with it because, yeah, you do. You know, it's a shame that these companies would be smart on this. You know, many, I hate to take in a small claims card. I really, it's a drag for me, but it's more drag for, it's more of a hardship for because you got to pay the employees in the first place. And the person who who signed our uh, who signed us up with 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 with, uh, with AT and T, she's going to lose her job. By the way, uh oh, she's not going to be happy. Nope. So you know, I mean, that's the thing. When you take in a small claims court, the person who put us on is, uh, our 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 contract that we have to you know two years that we have on AT and T. Well, guess what? That person is liable. And it's unfortunate, you know. She's in college too, as well. That's the sad part. You know, she's in college. You know, it's just, it's shameful that the company would do that. You know, take it. They would take out the small, this the the little weak fish, but not but not the barracuda. Yep. Speaking of which, I don't know if you saw the um, interviews on Facebook. Of the college students about what the Fourth of July stands for. Oh yeah, I did see that. Uh, you did. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. What are these kids being taught? 
Not in college, but in, in high school, in junior high, in, in elementary. What are they being taught? I can tell you being taught. As far as history. I know they're being taught. I mean, I do too, because it's, it's Common Core. I was fortunate enough to go to school before, long before Common Core. Right. They make you effect. But it, it, it's, it, it's our history. It needs to be taught to them. That's why I think, why I think I pulled those videos up that I did this weekend of, of, the, of the revolution. The 200 year anniversary of the revolution. Did you see what I did? Nice yeah. videos, by the way. These were what we did. It's got Paul Revere. It's got John Adams. It's got Thomas Jefferson. It has the uh, uh, crossing of Delaware. It shows you the British Army. It shows you the Continental Army. It shows you the um the um uh, the militia that was the militia army that was formed for freedom. These are farmers. These are farmers. They gave up their lives to defend the Constitution, to defend this free nation, the greatest nation of God's green earth. And now, Hillary, the Obama regime, the um the Obama Mamba doing a samba with Hillary. They got off on. They got off on murder. Sure did. They got off on murder. Do you think our founding fathers would approve of this? What we're doing to this country? Oh, absolutely not. They have. They have probably turned over so many times in their graves. It isn't funny. They. They're probably weeping right now. At where this country is. John Adams would be, I feel like how I feel, uh, very disgruntled, uh, very, um, uh, very mad, uh, would probably make fun of the situation we're doing here on his network, but also uh, to expose it, what we're doing, in a way that is educational, is informed, and something that he can um, be proud of because we are taking a stand. We are going against the networks. We're going against what the net, what the mainstream media is doing. What I mean, do you think about this? How many times did Fox News talk about Roseanne Barr this weekend and only five minutes of billery? Think about that. Think about that. Was this a smoke screen? Is Fox News guilty of doing uh, a, um, I want to say, trying to do a smoke mirror situation to highlight, not to expose Billary, but to actually get Roseanne Barr? On Fox News side, as said, trying to be the bad guy for Billary. How much money did they do? How much money did they get from the Clinton Foundation to do this? I would like to know that answer, and I believe me, John Adams would too. More than likely, yes, he would. I just can't. You know, it saddens me. It really does, Mark. It yeah, I'm like Congress John Adams. Has, has John Adams was a true. American patriot. I learned so much of this guy. I too bad I never met him. But you know what? We have so much in common because we know how uh, um, how to call people out and to get the right people in position where they can do the job and back them the way we're backing Israel right now. John Adams would be proud of his network. Yeah, he would. He would. Uh, there's a lot of people in this country that, that the founding fathers would be proud of for for their stand, for sticking to their their beliefs, their morals, their faith. And you know, it's all it's all going to come down to who everybody votes for. If you vote your belief, your faith. If God, if it's what God is decreeing you to vote, vote your conscience, 